Hello and welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another GT Sport Drift Setup video. This one is another request, uh, this time it's come from Danny Tapp. He's asked if I could do a Mazda Roadster or MX-5 setup. As always, I said I'd look into it and interestingly enough, this is a car that I've never even attempted to drift before. As obvious as it is, it's just something that I never picked up and played with. Uh, I think it was because uh, I was sort of funneled down the GT86 route when I first uh, started playing this one. Um, so it was an interesting car to go back and use. And to be honest with you, it's incredibly similar to that GT86. It's very easy, not the most powerful thing in the world, uh, but with the right tune you can use it on any track and it will get around some of the biggest corners. Now before I take you over to the setup I've come up with for this build, um, I would just like to say I have got a new series, um, that's, well hopefully it's going to be a series starting soon, but it is going to involve you guys very heavily. Um, so keep your eyes peeled for that, it should be out later on this week and um, hopefully you'll all get involved and uh, really enjoy it. As always if this is one of my first videos you've clicked on um, and you're enjoying what you see so far make sure you subscribe for future content, there's plenty of stuff like this coming out all the time. I'll take you over to the settings now and um, I'll explain a little bit further what I've come up with. So for the MX-5 or Roadster S, depending on where you are in the world, um, you are going to need some mileage points. Uh, with this one I've taken the power all the way up. Now it is quite light on power in the first place, so I felt it was quite important to take it all the way to level 3 there. And 215% which gives you 277 brake horsepower. Weight reduction, I've taken as low as you can, uh, which is level 2 there. And taking it all the way to the bottom at 91%, which gives you 900 kilograms. Uh, traction control, as always, is set to zero. You've got comfort hard tyres, both front and rear. Uh, brake balance is set to zero. Now the ride height for this one, as always again, is just set all the way down to the bottom. So in this case, 105 and 105. The frequency, I have had to change quite a lot. The car is very soft when you first get it. Uh, so I've set that to 1.62, both front and rear. The anti-roll bar is, I think, as it was when it first came, which is seven on the front and four on the back. Uh, compression and rebound remain the same at 60, 60 and 90 and 90. Camber angle on the front there is set to 2.8 and on the rear is 1. Toe angle on the front is out 0.3 and in 0.2 on the rear. Uh, downforce you can't play with on this. The differential I haven't touched, I've left it exactly as it was. And all I've done here with the transmission is set it to 155 um, as the max speed and that's in miles per hour and everything else remains the same. Now you can lower this down if you want it to be a little bit more aggressive um, and obviously it will get through those gears a bit faster and spin up faster. But I found with 155 it seems to work well for some of the longer corners and you seem to be able to get away with it as well in some of the shorter ones too. So that's where I've left it. That should be everything you need to get out and enjoy the MX-5. I hope you enjoy it as much as I have been. Uh, make sure you use that comment section to let me know if there's any other setups you'd like to see me do in the future or if there's any other games you'd like me to play. And give the video a like if you've enjoyed it. It really helps them grow when you do. I'll leave you with some more footage of me messing around with the car and I'll see you all on the next one.